unlike assignments, you do not have to grade quizzes because you have already created a, a template and a key for it, and so it grades it automatically. So when it comes time for grading quizzes, they're already done for you. You just have to figure out where those quizzes are in order to get the uh, grades from them. So what you do is when you click on schoolwork, you're going to go to assigned by you. And if the uh, quiz is still active, which it is, it'll show up in current. If it's a quiz that's already gone by, then you would click on past to get your grades. And as you can see, 54 people have currently taken my ITR test. And so when I click on this, uh, I'm going to in just a second, but I'm going to pause it, the video just for a second. Hold on. So when I click on this then, it brings me to this page and it tells me what the current average of the t uh, test is and how many people have taken it. I have 55 out of 68 that have taken my test so far. What I was doing a minute ago when I paused the video was I was hiding the name so that you wouldn't see who, who actually did what. It makes it nice for this uh, demonstration purpose. So all of these people have taken the test and it shows their current scores. And it lists it in alphabetical order either on first name or last name, depending on your preference. Now one of the things that I would suggest to you based on my experience with this is as you can see 68 people is a lot to manage. So instead of having one group like I currently have, this is my eighth grade group, I would break it down into uh, what period it is. Like if it's first period, have your first period group go to a, a group site. Second period group goes to a, a website. And you can manage it that way um, very easily. I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a minute in other lessons as well. But for this thing, this is how you go and find out what their scores are and then you can record those into your gradebook. The other cool thing about this is if you need to do any kind of follow-up, there's question statistics available for you too. And so you can go through and see which questions students may have had the most problem with. Like here I see that there's quite a bit of, uh, it's pretty consistent or pretty even as to how many people guessed incorrectly versus correctly on this one. People didn't know exactly if it'd be increasing or decreasing. Or right here, true and false on this question. So I can go back and revisit these questions here where there seemed to be a little bit of confusion and try to re-explain those or reteach those if I need to. So this is how you can work your way through the ITR, ta um, excuse me, through the quiz component of my big campus.